get it how I wanna get it, you don't get it I can do anything, I don't got a limit I'ma make my mind up, I'm committed It might take some time, might take a minute I won't give up, I don't give a shit I do what I want when I wanna do it Call it a power or call it a gift I call it persistence, driving some weight oh, I ain't no minute man Good things take time when I'm in it man Give me some time and I'm with a fam Now I'm gone too far from the beginning man I can teach you but you gotta listen I got lessons, all lessons to give them Think the masters are open to wishing to thinking and dreaming and cutting the ribbons oh. And they know they don't want it more than me I work hard to call it a disease I work hard so I can go be free But I don't work for anyone but me Five two-minute rounds here at SM Fight Club at the Mecca. About 11, Tom Richards looking to take the title belt from Lenny Khan over five rounds of action. White short for Tom, black with the gold trim for Lenny. Southpaw stance for Lenny as he looks to get in quick and fire the shots at Tom. Looking to assert his authority immediately. I was speaking to Tom before and he knew Lenny's a tough, strong customer and was looking to get his boxing working tonight. Because he knew Lenny's strength. Good jab there from Tom. But Lenny, as I said, closing the gap quickly to throw those explosive punches. Tom needs to keep him at range behind that boxing. Look for the big right hand. Just out of range, and he's got to stop Lenny getting in close because Lenny is a powerhouse. And he'll work in tight here. He'll like it close and hard like this, Lenny. And he'll be dominating. And again, staying in close, Lenny looking to throw these short, sharp, explosive punches. Tom must work behind that jab, keep him at range. He's got to stay tight, he can't afford to take those. And again, Lenny, when he closes the gap, he comes in very fast. Personally, I think Tom's got a very good jab that he needs to utilise here. Stiff, and he's got to catch Lenny on the way in with the confidence to throw first. Oh, he got caught with that left again. And then Lenny leans in to protect himself. Jab cross from Lenny as he looks to close the gap quickly on Tom. And then using his head there for pressure, all the tricks. Good opening round, you've got to say blue corner of that opener of five. Two or three, and Tom came out aggressively to start to look to back Lenny up. It's a good tactic if your opponent's been coming in strong like Lenny does to try and take the sting out of it, and that's what, exactly what he's trying to do. And you can see the power of Lenny there as he steps forward. But it's the right tactic from Tom to be first and look to back his opponent up. It's a different start to the second. For the man in the pink corner because this is where he doesn't want to be with these heavy shots coming in from Lenny who uses his weight and again Lenny looks to turn it around in these short sharp punches and using all the tricks and leaning in the shoulder leaning on his opponent roughing making it a war rather than a boxing bout which is a good tactic here from Lenny every opportunity look putting pressure on Tom leaning in leaning on sapping the energy 
making it uncomfortable. Tom looks to the referee, pushes Lenny away, and then he's got to throw that jab and be first as Lenny pushes in. That's better. Little combination there. Look at Lenny there, pushing the head into the chin of Tom. Every trick in the book. Looks to work the body, grabs the neck. Tom looks for the big right hand. Lenny ducks low, grabs him round the waist. Been a better second round for the man in the pink corner. Much more even second. I'm not saying Tom won it, but he really made Lenny work and think there. And again, Tom looks to come out first. Told to continue there as Lenny pushes in. Spencer says, work your way out, boys. And Lenny looks to push forward with those shots once more. Tom's quite accurate on the counter. Staying calm, despite the consistent pressure from Lenny, who's really forcing him to box at his pace. And this is where it suits Lenny, keeping the shots coming in. Tom steps forward, he needs to set that right up with the jab before he just throws it. Working the right hand to the left hand side of Lenny's body. And as soon as he pushes him away, Lenny's straight back on him. And Tom goes right out of the ring there and onto the canvas below. Now this could be very difficult indeed. Medics are called right out of the ring, fell onto the, the solid floor. So the medics are there with him. Well, he's back to his feet and he's looking to get back in the ring, Tom. Gloves are going back on. What a warrior. Just unlacing his gloves. Looking to put them back on here in round three. So, Tom is ready to go again, and Lenny looks to put him under immediate pressure once more. Tom.
It's a real battle, this one. And each time Lenny looks to tie him up, Tom looks to work the body. And he needs to set up that right hand. You can see Tom's almost looking to fire it straight off. He needs to set it up first. Got very scrappy here in the third. And Lenny always clean to, keen to close the gap and working close. Last 10 of a, an amazing third round where Tom went right through the ropes and landed on the hard ground below. Well, difficult third round, full stop. Very hard battle, this one for the belt. Four or five, and they're straight back at it. And Lenny looks to close the gap, looping right hand from Tom in reply, and Lenny ducks low and pushes forward. Big right hand from Tom as Lenny came in, looking to catch him on the way in. He's not bothering to set it up anymore. He's just throwing the right hand. Oh, and it's become very, very scrappy, this one. Very difficult bout. Looks for the big left and right coming forward. Tom throws the right to the body, leans in. Lenny leans on him. Not a great deal of clean work here in round four. And again, Lenny comes flying in. Tom ducks and Lenny throws the punches to the midsection, which is the right tactic. And then pushes forward once more. Looks for the big right hand in reply to the jab, Tom. Then Lenny leans in and pushes forward. There's no punches here, it's just pushing. Very awkward round four. And as I said, everything's too close to box cleanly. It's all short little punches from both men as they tangle up once more. Well, four down, one to go. That was an ugly round. Fifth and final round, and this is hard. It's not the most technical bout I've seen. It's not got the cleanest boxing, but it's had a lot of drama as we approach the fifth and final round. And away they go. And Lenny looks to come in again. Tom looks to fire back, but that was the shot. That was the shot. And the count could be absolutely vital here. Lenny timed that beautifully after a, a fourth round that was scrappy with no clean work. And Spencer's called it at the beginning of the fifth, I think because of the fact that Tom had fallen before as well onto the canvas, onto the floor, which they obviously knew. So with that thought in mind, I think Spencer was protecting the fighter there. But in the fifth round, Lenny came out with the cleanest shot of the bout. The cleanest shot to finally take the bout. When it mattered, he delivered a beautiful shot and keeps that belt, but so much happened in that bout. And all credit to Tom coming back from that fall.
When it mattered, Lenny came out with the best shot of the bout to end the bout. Yes, bro. Is that going like that or is it just to there? It's just to it, just to it. Oh, I love you. I love you. What are you saying, man? Bro, I'm still. Can you tell me what happened there, bro? So, literally, he kept like ducking down every time I was going for a big shot up top because he knew what was coming. And Craig just kept saying to me, like, as soon as he drops down, uppercut. But uppercut, left up, boom. You'll get him, you'll catch him. And I missed him a couple of times because he was like covered up. But then that time he was wide open, so I landed the shot from out. Taking him outside the ring as well. <laughs> well, I mean, that was over. I put on a bit of weight, innit? I've seen him three times. Oh, shit, man. Yeah. But yeah, I just want to thank everyone for turning up, innit, man? Hope everyone has a good night and that. Respect, man. You want to go on? Give me a shout out to all the weight. Yeah, man. 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 Y